It's been more than a month since Christmas, but the Ross family say they won't take their tree down, not until their dad and husband is back home. Bernard Ross disappeared for two months last year. Matilda and Jacinta Ross have both visited him at a hospital in Switzerland. It was one of the best days of my life and it just felt so good to see him. And I, I gave him a big hug and it was almost to fill up all the th things that I haven't, hadn't been able to say and feel with him. Mr Ross went missing after leaving the family home last October. Thames Valley Police worked with Interpol to try to find him, focusing on mainland Europe. In December, he was found near Geneva and taken to hospital. His wife Jacinta has been going back and forth from Oxford ever since. The second time I went to visit, he had very little recollection of that first visit. He couldn't remember anything about it. And he was telling me things that he'd already told me the first time I went out. So he was, he was not in a, a good state mentally at all. Before his disappearance, Mr Ross had a high-profile executive role at UEFA, but he'd lost his job in November 2016. He was later diagnosed with bipolar disorder. The family plans to contest how UEFA treated him. One of the reasons he left was to try and get a resolution from UEFA, and um, I'm trying to to get a resolution from his employer as well. And I think if we can do that, then um, it will help his recovery hugely. UEFA told us they worked with the authorities to help find Mr Ross, but said they couldn't comment further due to a confidentiality agreement. The family say they're looking forward to Mr Ross's imminent return. Jeremy Stern, BBC South Today.